in this demo for snap mirror synchronous i'm going to showcase the failover of the sql enterprise application to the secondary storage system let's consider a situation where the primary volume has gone offline as a result of some kind of failure because of which i will not be able to read or write into any of the databases for the enterprise application The first step is to make the destination volume writable before you can serve data from the volume to the clients. What we need to do first is to go to data protection relationships and quiesce the existing snap mirror synchronous relationship to stop ongoing transfers from the primary to the secondary storage system. Check the checkbox for yes, I want to quiesce the relationship and click on quiesce. As a result of which you will now notice that the transfer status of this relationship is quiesced. The next step is to break this relationship. So highlight the existing snap mirror synchronous relationship, click on operations and click on break. Check the checkbox that you are okay to break the relationship and click on break. Now you will notice that the relationship status currently shows as broken off. As a result of which the destination volume on the secondary storage now has the type read write. In this demo, since we're showcasing SQL application in a SAN environment, you need to map the LUNs in the volume to the appropriate initiator group. Whereas if it was a NAS environment, you will have to mount the NAS volumes to the namespace using the same junction path that the source volume was mounted on in the source SVM. Now on the SAN client, you need to rescan the disks to detect the connected LUNs. Now on the SQL host in SQL Management Studio, let's go ahead and delete the databases that are mapped to the volume on the primary storage system that is currently offline and attach the SQL database from the LUNs that have been mapped to this SQL host from the secondary storage system. Here you need to specify the location for the data file and the log file for the respective database. Now your clients can continue to read or write to the database on the secondary storage system. As you saw in this demo, when disaster disables the primary site of a snap mirror synchronous relationship, you can serve data from the destination volume with minimal disruption.